Hello, dear students. You are welcome to the class of cost accounting. Our topic it is you know applications of differential cost analysis. The first application it is already discussed. It is determination of the most profitable level of production and price. Then the second another application is acceptance of offer at a lower price, whether to accept or reject uh, a new offer. Sometimes the management is interested to increase the capacity, but the increased production can be sold only at a reduced selling price. When we are increasing our output or when we are increasing our capacity, the company can produce more units. So the company may force you to sell it at a reduced selling price. So under such a situation, the differential cost analysis or cost is calculated by deducting the cost of present capacity from the cost of new capacity. Differential cost is divided by the increased units of production to calculate the minimum price for the additionally produced units. Okay, it will be clear by checking the illustration. It will explain below. There is an illustration. Just check. A company is at present working at 90% of its capacity and producing 13,500 units per annum. The present capacity it is 90% and the present number of units produced it is 13,500. It operates a flexible budget control system. It's okay. The details. These are the details at 90% capacity in the first two column. Then this, these are under 100% capacity. Sales it is 15 lakh. If it operates in 100% capacity, the sales will become 16 lakh. Fixed expenses 3 lakh 500 each in both the situations. Semi fixed expenses 97,500 in first case, second case 1,500,000. Variable expenses 1,45,000 and in second case 1,49,500. Units produced, it is already stated here 13,500 in 90% capacity and increased to 100% capacity. That means producing 1,500 more units. So 15,000. How to find the 100% capacity? You can calculate it by converting 13,500 into 100% each. So that means 13,500 into 100 by 90. Then you will get uh, 15,000. So we are actually we are producing an additional unit of 1,500 units. Then the question is. Labor and material cost per unit are constant under present conditions. Why it is given here? So check here. Labor and material cost. It is not given in the question. So we need to find it. It is uh, you can find it from here. Fixed expenses given, semi-fixed, other variable expenses also given. So labor and cost material cost per unit are constant under present conditions. Then profit margin is 10 percentage. This is the present case. So 10 percentage profit includes in this one. Then you are required to determine the differential cost of producing 1500 units by increasing capacity to 100 percentage. So actually we are producing 13,500 and if it is increased to 100 percent capacity that means we are additionally producing 1500 so what would, how it will be reacted in the cost we need to find the differential cost of producing or incremental cost of producing that additional 1500 unit okay let us check then what would you recommend for an export price for these 1500 units taking into account that overseas prices are much lower than indigenous price. That means when we are ready to produce that extra 1500 units, uh, we could not find a market in the domestic place. Or there is no domestic market for this one. So we need to export it. But the problem it is the overseas prices 
the prices in the other countries are much lower for this product. So we should recommend the authority or recommend the manager uh, at what price the product can be offered for sale. This additional unit of 1500 units can be export. There is only an export demand. There is no demand for the domestic market. We need to assume like that one. If we are exporting it, at what price we can offer it? So this is the question. So check, uh, let us check how to solve it. This is the question itself. So at first I told you, uh, labor and material cost, it is not given here. The only one hint it is given that the labor and material cost per unit are constant. So first we are taking the details of expenses at 90% capacity. So sales at 90% capacity it is 15 lakh, 15 lakh. Then profit margin it is given here, it is 10%. So less the profit. So it is deducting to find the cost of goods sold, to find the total cost. So when sales minus profit, we will get cost of goods sold or total cost. So 13,50,000 is the total cost. Then certain components are here given, cost components. It includes fixed expenses 3,500,000, it's okay. Then semi-fixed expenses 97,500, then variable expenses 145,000. So altogether all these three will become 5,43,000. 5,43,000. So actually our total cost it is 13,50,000. All the given three items, fixed expenses, semi-fixed expenses, variable expenses, which will become only 5,43,000. So the remaining expenses, so the remaining or the balance amount of rupees 8,7,000. So we need to assume it as the material and the labor expenses. Because I already told you, it is not given in this question. Material and labor expenses. So actually we request, we need a total cost of rupees 13,50,000. So the given items will come only 5,43,000. So the remaining item, it is taken as material and labor expenses, 8,7,000. So now it is ready. Almost all the items were got, then we can prepare the statement of differential cost analysis this is the question itself so first one output uh, we are preparing the differential cost statement so th this is the level at 90 percentage capacity or the present condition material and labor eight lakh seven thousand it is not given in the question we just find it in the this previous slide, it is 8,7,000, material and labor. Then variable expense 1,45,000, then all other details as given in the question, 1,45,000, then 97,500, then 3,500 fixed cost, 3,500. So the total cost, it is 13,50,000, this also we know. 13,50,000 total cost. That means uh, we already got it by deducting uh, profit from the sales. The total profit it is, uh, total sales it is 15 lakh here. Then when we are deducting profit 1,50,000, 10 percentage profit, it is given here in the question. The profit margin it is 10 percentage. So if you are deducting 10 percentage margin from this one, you will get this 13 lakh 50 thousand so total cost at 90 percentage capacity then we need to find the total cost at 100 percentage capacity so in 100 percentage capacity we need to find first the what would be the material and labor cost so at 90 percentage capacity it is 8 lakh 7 thousand so we need to convert it to 100 percentage so 8 lakh 7 thousand into 100 by 90. It will become 8,96,667. 
direct conversion is possible it is given here uh, labor and material cost per unit are constant so just you can convert to 100 percentage so 8 lakh 7000 into 100 by 90 so it is 8 lakh 96667 then all other details are given in the question variable expenses 1 lakh 49500 semi fixed 1 lakh 500 and the fixed expenses 3 lakh 500 so the total it is 14 lakh 47167 so there is an incremental cost for differential cost is incre incremental cost 13 lakh 15000 50000 is the cost was the cost at present condition when the company expands its production capacity to 100 percentage the cost will be increased to 14,47,167. So the differential cost would be take the difference of these two total. So it is 97,167. So let us take the question. Question number one it is you are required to determine the differential cost of producing 1,500 units. So this one is the answer. Differential cost of producing 1,500 units it is 97,167. 97,167. This is the cost of 13,500 units. This is the cost of 15,000 units. So, by taking the difference, we will get the cost of producing 1,500 units. 97,167. Then, the question number 2 B it is what would you recommend for an export price? So, what price will you fix if you are ready to uh, export it? The condition it is that given here that overseas prices are much lower. So what's the, what will be the minimum price at which we can offer? So it is uh, it must be equal to its cost. So the total cost it is ninety seven thousand one sixty seven. So the per unit cost will be sixty four thousand sixty four point seven eight sixty four point seven eight. This is the price or oh, at any price above this level will provide a certain profit to the company. So this point must be uh, remembered by the company while setting the price. This would be the minimum price or oh, a price a, a price which is above this level can be acceptable to the company to make an additional profit. So uh, this is what is the decision whether to accept this offer or not. We can accept this offer when the company can sell this additional unit at a price above 64.78 paise. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.